Men kick friendship around like a football, but it doesn't seem to crack. Women treat it like glass and it goes to pieces. Good communication is just as stimulating as black coffee, and just as hard to sleep after. The sea does not reward those who are too anxious, too greedy, or too impatient. One should lie empty, open, choiceless as a beach, waiting for a gift from the sea. One cannot collect all the beautiful shells on the beach. One can collect only a few, and they are more beautiful if they are few. I must write it all out, at any cost. Writing is thinking, it is more than living, for it is being conscious of living. Arranging a bowl of flowers in the morning can give a sense of quiet in a crowded day, like writing a poem or saying a prayer. The bearing, rearing, feeding and educating of children, the running of a house with its thousand details, human relationships with their myriad pulls, women's normal occupations in general run counter to creative life, or contemplative life, or saintly life. For happiness one needs security, but joy can spring like a flower even from the cliffs of despair. Only in growth, reform, and change, paradoxically enough, is true security to be found. Don't wish me happiness, I don't expect to be happy it's gotten beyond that, somehow. Wish me courage and strength and a sense of humor, I will need them all. Perhaps this is the most important thing for me to take back from beach living. Simply the memory that each cycle of the tide is valid, each cycle of the wave is valid, each cycle of a relationship is valid. How hard it is to have the beautiful interdependence of marriage and yet be strong in oneself alone. After all, I don't see why I am always asking for private, individual, selfish miracles when every year there are miracles like white dogwood. The loneliness you get by the sea is personal and alive. It doesn't subdue you and make you feel abject. It's stimulating loneliness.